I just want to talk to you today about how to, we can just stop losing and start winning every battle of life. We know we were created to, to live in victory and not in defeat. In Genesis 1:26-28, then God said, "Let us make man in our image." According to our likeness, like God's likeness. And then he went on to say, and let them have dominion. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, and over all uh, the earth, and over every creeping thing. That includes that old creep, the devil, and that creeps on this earth. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God, he created he them, male and female. He created them. And then God blessed them. God bless them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves here on this earth. How many of you know it's time to quit losing and start winning every battle of life? One time they... They ran some tests on Papa Gill, and, and uh, they said, you have a brain tumor. And I said, do you want to run that test again? Before, oh, you know, we, we take that as the final uh, say. They said, no, we don't. Need to run it again. You have a brain tumor. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to pray. And then I want you to run that test again, and you will not find a brain tumor. And they looked at me in amazement, but they said, well, okay, we, we can run it again. Well, we took authority over that brain tumor, and, and God's given us authority over this earth and everything in it, and we pulled down the strongholds, and my wife Joyce joined with me, and our friends that were there with us, and we just, man, I tell you, I just felt that thing lift. And I said, well, praise God. Now run the test again and you won't find any brain tumor. <laughs> so they ran the test again 
And to their amazement, not to ours, but to their amazement, they said, we can't explain it. There is absolutely no brain tumor there. Long, long, a jake, own now, Tema, Mishiro Babu. That's our God, and that's our authority. Da, Janoria Payad came today, Janoria a quit Anna Tibari. And it's time for us to quit losing and start taking dominion as God created us to do. Tajamlo Akute, my satin bureau, shown in Geniani Twalabi, our mean cinema, Mateyapa, Payak, Janoro, a little Dashamo, a quit Anna, beat Harry. In Psalms chapter 8, verse 4 through 6, What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, the poor translation says. Actually, the word is Elohim, which that's the name for God. You're, you're just a little lower than God. And he has crowned him with glory and honor and have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands and there's more. You have put all things under his feet. I tell you, to be under one's feet is to be in a place of subjection. We have authority. We have dominion. And it's time to quit losing and start winning. ပြောချင်တာဖြစ်တယ်တင်ဖျားရဲ့အောက်မှာပဲရှိရဲ့ထပ်ပြီးတော့နော်ကျရောကြီးမယ်ဆိုရင်သူ့၏ကောင်းက
You know, we have been called by God to live in the realm of His glory. The glory of God. In 1 Peter 5, beginning in verse 5 and through 11, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he really cares for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be sober, be vigilant, because you have an adversary. Your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, <laughs> seeking whom he may devour. He's just makes himself like a roaring lion and try to intimidate it. What does God's word say? Resist him. You don't have to listen to the devil. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced in your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, the God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you've suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. It's time to quit losing, start winning every battle of life. Then the Dhamma Shonin Jinni take a twalabi. Sat Aum Yanjing U Yajuba. It's starting to start living in the strength and the power of God. Piyadi ki kun a tema. Stashyame chain pite. In Ephesians chapter six. Epa akani chauma. Beginning in verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or the strategies of the devil. For we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and, and uh, uh, rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. 
အကြောင်းမူကငါတို့ဒီအတွေးတရှိသောရန်သူတို့နဲ့ဆိုင်ပြိုင်တိုက်နိုင်ရကြသည်မဟုတ်အထွတ်မြတ်တို့နဲ့
she got in the car and went home. Headlines of the paper the next day. Fire in Anaheim Hills mysteriously quits burning. That's the authority we have. That's our authority in living in the kingdom of God. You see, Jesus' work is complete. He's already defeated the devil and his demons, but on earth he has created men and women, his new creation, to walk and to live in authority. He's restored our authority. And now we must rise up and demonstrate that the devil is already defeated. We must forcibly advance the kingdom of God and the will of God to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We have to take the keys to bind and to loose God's kingdom here on this earth, in Matthew chapter 16, beginning in verse 13, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? And his his disciples that he asked. Yeshu di Philipu kethri miu i chela to chwaro mudo ka lumiaro ka luda pi to ngago abe du pi ti hu soja da ni hu dbero ro amiro mule. He said, "Well, who do you say that I, the Son of Man, am?" And so they said, "Well, some say that you're John the Baptist, and some say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets." But he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of of the living God. Shimon Petruga, Gorodi, Crito, Dihudo, Atheshen or Mudo, Payad King, Itaro, Pito Mudi, who shall be. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter. And on this rock, I'm going to build something. I'm going to build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven.
you see the victory has already been won. In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, Inasmuch then, as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him, he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. You see, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. First John 3, 8. He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy. The works of the devil. Are you ready to see the works of the devil destroyed? Are you ready to see the works of the devil destroyed in your life and realm of authority? It's time to quit losing. It's time for a triumphant victory for the kingdom of God. In the book of Colossians, chapter 1, beginning in verse 13, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of His Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. And having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Hallelujah. It's time to quit losing and start winning. Every battle of life. My wife Joyce and I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit many years ago. And this was all new to us. We had been Christians uh, for many years at that time, but we didn't have the power of the Holy Spirit in our life. And it was all new to us, so we started inviting people over to our home on Tuesday, on Tuesday nights. And, and uh, uh, so uh, there's a lady that began to come. I'd never met her before, but she had found out that we were having a Christian meeting on Tuesday nights. So she came and knocked on the door and introduced herself. And uh, it so happened that she was a supervisor, one of the two supervisors in a major uh, food processing plant. In a nearby city to where we were living at that time. And, and so she uh, began to invite her friends over. Uh, to our meetings. And, 
and uh, uh, it, all these people that had just come to Jesus and everything. And so we just got together and we just began to praise and to, and to, and to, and to worship God. And we, we find out as we uh, begin to worship him and everything that, that there was all of a sudden a, an evil thing that began to come against us. And, and we just felt the power of darkness just, just coming, coming at us. And, and uh, uh, I, I just stood up and I felt it coming, uh, uh, you know, from the direction of our family room and out the windows and, and, and everything. And I just said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command you to stop. And I command you to go back and attach yourself to the ones that sent you. And it just lifted. And I said, well, praise God. I don't know what that was about. But we just want a victory. And afterwards, our friend, the supervisor at the plant, said, well, there's another supervisor, and she is a witch. And she has a meeting with the people the, teaching them about witchcraft. And they decided to start meeting on Tuesday nights to stop what was going on in our house. Well, we tell you, when we took authority in the menu, that thing just took off running. And uh, and and so it was about two weeks later. that uh, our friend was working alongside the witch. And they were looking at the jars of of food that were going by and just inspecting it and everything. And and uh, all of a sudden, the, you know, there, there was, uh, she just turned to, to the witch and said, uh, you folks still meet on Tuesday nights? And uh, she said, no. No. We said, well, the last time we met, something backfired, and we don't meet anymore. Whatever happened when we took that authority and commanded that, that evil to go back and attach itself on the ones that said, scared them so bad that they disbanded. The witch is coming. Hallelujah. And many of them came, came to Jesus. Hallelujah. And after that, Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the authority, the authority that we have, and we can live as overcomers. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 9 to 11, 
So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent the, of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ has come for the accuser of our brethren, who accused him before our God day and night, has been cast down. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Toka iloka the nanga long will lay piavi. Manet sada and yishido, shame we hung dihudo, naga jigo lagam. Though net a do to eat a man do go lagam, ye jido chalai jai, gong and bonai jido at the nga, yakuma, get in jim pee, the go roll epi, naru piad ki, nanga no tin, to eat quito e anaro sele pee, a jamuga, naru ni go miago, naru the king pia shena, she nina mapia, a pitendo, jandugo, outdo chali vi, through the toting a at we absent lagam. It's time to cast down and take authority over the, all the devil's trying to do to intimidate us and stop us is, the, is God's kingdom people here on this earth. And to intimidate us. But I tell you, we just need to know who we are. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 13. And 14, it says, I, I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father, and I have written to you, fathers, because you have known who is from the beginning. And I have written to you, young men, because you're strong, and the word of God, I say you are strong, and the word of God. <laughs> Baro, they know the shews or gabby shiro mudo to go tito jump, they know ang a ye we be lai. Lubio wrote, they know the manaco ang do jump, they know ang a ye we be lai. Tungay wrote, they know the camiro go tito jump, they know ang a ye we be lai. A barrow, they know the shews or gabby shiro mudo to go tito jump, they know ang a ye we be lai be. Lubio wrote, they know the con an a pies on ye. Payadke in no go better night, me way seek at the pin, manaco ang do jump, they know ang a ye we be lai be. Abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. No go bet all night, they have me way sick at it. They have manaco almine. I want to talk to you about your spiritual authority and the boldness that he that God has given us. Tenoru winya yama, tenoru pine sine a quaint ana. Bari lesura, tenodinima biogene. Then loot. Chapter 10, verse 19. Luca, can you say in a sacoma? He says, Behold, I've given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And that, old, that includes that old serpent, the devil, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. In Acts chapter 4, verse 29 and 30. Now, Lord, it says, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. In Philippians 4.13, I can do all things 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it's time to quit losing and start living. To start living in the supernatural. And these signs shall follow those that believe. In my name you will cast out demons, you will speak with new tongues, you will take up serpents, and if you drink anything deadly, it by well no means hurt you, and they will we will lay our hands on the sick, and they will. Hallelujah. We can we can win every battle of life. One time I was teaching at Lakewood Church uh, in uh, Houston, Texas, one of the, it's the largest church in America. And it was a Sunday morning, and I was teaching on the subject of the authority of, of the believer. And at, at, at that time, there had been out in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the Gulf of Mexico was only about 30 miles south of Houston, Texas, where we were. And uh, But there had been an oil spill out, uh, oh, maybe a couple hundred miles, uh, and the, the uh, all uh, wells uh, had begun to leak and, and it, it was spreading the oil out over hundreds and hundreds of miles and it was moving north toward the beaches of Texas and it would destroy our, uh, you know, our tourism industry, our fishing industry. It, it was a catastrophe. The governor had gone out and flown over with a helicopter and came back and declared that it was a disaster. And that the, you know, applied for help, uh, uh, money help from the government. Because they knew that there was no way to stop this thing. But all of a sudden, the spirit of boldness came upon me. And I said, I want everyone here in this church to stand up and hold out your hand toward the Gulf of Mexico. And I led them in a prayer, taking authority and taking a dominion over that oil split. And it's not In in the name of, of Jesus. And I said, I command that all slick to stop. Moving north toward the 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 uh, beaches of, of Texas. And I stopped for just a moment. And I said, and I commanded to turn around and go back out to sea. 
I knew God was saying something else. I stopped again. And I said one more time. And I command that all slick to dissipate. The headlines of the newspaper the next morning said, All sick mysteriously quits moving north. Headlines of the paper the next day. Oslick has turned around and is going back out to sea. And the headlines of the paper the third day said, The Oslick has dissipated. I tell you, we have authority. We have dominion. We just need to know our authority and how to quit losing and start winning. But to my own, Nima Ro, the Lubolare, Eri Yariga, Miaupagutare, Nautia Majaro, the Rinzama, Eriga, Pilene, Wimuy and Rolodes, we palare. I mean, now some day a maro, Eri Yari Alonga, Piaque, Tuare, three, it rim palare. Sinatiba, to know a main beer, a dime, a pianine, Sura. In Isaiah 54, verse 17, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In Romans 16, 20, And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. In James chapter 4, verse 7, Therefore submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Then to Panai Loto, Lena de Zon de Cumia, a time and meow ya, then would dear Tweedo do me diga, a show can I lay me. And Ephesians chapter six, verse sixteen and seventeen. Epa, can you chow, and a such how can it suck coma? He says, Above all, above all, take the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And take those mighty weapons that God has given us. And we can, we can take and forcibly advance the kingdom of God and the will of God to be done here on earth. As it is in heaven. It's time to start living in victory. Protected by the whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, Against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. Whose armor? When you put on God's armor, you look just like God to the devil. Therefore, 
Badu Lenale, Paya the King Elena, Paya Elena go to Wissen at Akama, Luria thing with Gieca, Paya the King of Mileme. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand there. Mazwe, can ye and I meet a jow? See Daba, Matayeba, Sella Matayeba. For stand there for having girded your waist with truth having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. This is the first time How many of you know that no weapon formed against us will prosper? If we know who we are, if we know our authority, if we know that our weapons are mighty through God to the put, pulling down of strongholds. It's time for the church of the living God to quit losing and start winning. And you're it. God bless you.